Okay, that works. I can do that. I can do that. Well, that's pretty cool. That's just like OBS, only it's on an iPad. What's it cost? $200 a year? Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. I was just recently at a funeral. I know, um, I spoke of this, 94 year old aunt of my wife. So, you know, and I was at the back of the room because figure well, I can see well from a distance, up close sucks, but distance is good. And you know, I just, I don't need to be close because well, I'm not family. Well, I am, but I never really knew her all that well. At the back of the room, I saw the whole setup that they're doing this because they had, you know, streaming and everything else. And it was this. So I ended up talking to the gentleman running all that because I just was looking over and, I, and he goes, oh, what's that? Well, that's kind of cool. That's that's neat. I do some YouTubing. Oh, what do you do? And I showed him my tricorder and I said, well, that's cool. And I said, what are you using? I said, well, I'm using Sling Studio. He says, it's kind of out of date, but it works for what I want to do. So I started looking at what can you do with the iPad? And I found this, it's in a maker. That's cool. You know, it, it, it works well enough, um, but it's $200 a year, a year. And it does the same thing as OBS. Now it has some cool features, which I can do already. Let me just put my iPad down. I don't need to have this open with it right now. Um, it has some cool things I can do, same as I can do with OBS. Like I have an iPhone using as a virtual camera. Well, there's plugins to do that with OBS. In fact, you can plug it directly in using your cable and just use it as a capture device. OBS goes, oh, hey, a phone, it's a capture device. And another thing too is these programs, now there's other things too. Let me put this down here. There's Roland has a cool device called the, Roll, um, the Arrowcaster. Cool. All these things, iPad base and else are for people who are recording other people. This is not something you'd want to do for yourself. Switch camera, do this, do that. Because you're focusing on yourself and then it's a matter of and. And now we have this. And now. And now we have this. Not made for that. Whereas you can get into OBS and you can use um, Touch Portal or even a Stream Deck, and Stream Deck even on your phone, and go this, 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 and easy, and you can do it while you're working away. Now, I'm not doing this in OBS, because I'm doing this in my studio, because I have one, so why not use it? You can do that, and it's really simple, it's easy to do, because I can be talking away to you, and I can just in my perif do that, and then, oh, there's something new. I can do that. Oh, there's something new. Or I can even be geek it out and have my touch portal as I L cars it and I just have it in. Dun, 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 dun. So I can see where some of these products are coming from. If you don't know what you're doing, and to be fair, OBS is not the easiest thing in the world to set up. Now I'm in IT. I can do all these things all day long. I fix computers for a living. I, I take machines apart and do that. So to do a little bit of TLC on a program is easy. But some people can't. And you know what? Maybe for them, this is the perfect thing to do because they can have their... And Cinemaker does show it off saying, here we are doing a show. And Aerocaster does it too. Here we are doing a show. It's a band. This camera is pointing here and that's pointing there. Let me just switch between scenes and all that stuff. If you're a director, I guess. But all of us these days, well, all of us here on YouTube, you know, we're just doing it ourselves. Uh, I'm not by any means am I a Harris Heller, an Alpha Gaming. I'm not gonna be at that level ever, I don't think. I don't think I'll ever be that popular. But then I'm a streamer, I'm sort of, a, I'm a YouTuber. Um, but I'm not gonna be at that level, so I'm not gonna be of that. I'll have this team doing that, that team doing that. And you know, great on him for his success, like fantastic. Um, I, I'm a little bit jealous, because while well, he's getting things sent to, re to be reviewed, I'm not there yet. But I'm a one-man 
army, I guess. I'm a one-man production set, so I'm doing this myself. I'm doing this myself. I'm doing this myself. Oh, and here goes the fans. Okay. Um, I'm doing all this myself, so I don't really have the wherewithal to have. And now, all right, now cut to this. Now cut to that. Now cut to this. That's not what I'm doing. So anyway, if you're looking at doing some streaming and you're looking at doing like a group sort of setting, you can do it yourself if you're gonna have a couple of things with this easy program, which I guess for some people, $100 or $200 a year is, is worth it for what they're doing. And this was a funeral home that was doing something. So yeah, for them, I think it was like $500, but for them, it did what they needed to do. And then some, and people came in on the stream, everyone was happy and all those other things. But that's just me looking at other things and going, you know what, that's cool and all, but yeah, I'm not your target market, man. I'm not the person who wants to do this because it's not quite my niche. And also, there's a free thing out there. Anyway, that's my video for today. I just, if you're looking for something different than OBS or different than, you know, doing your own streams yourself and you want to, something to sort of bring in a couple of different cameras, it does work. Uh, there is a slightly nerfed free version. I think you get two cameras maybe. Uh, it's okay. It's not great, but uh, it is available to you as well. I just, I'm thinking if you have the wherewithal, and there's enough people online who will help you if you ask them like a wall uh, a few other people will say i will come and set up your stream for you so there is that anyway that's just something for me i looked at those this week i found them and i had a number of iphones turned over to me uh to be recycled and they work fine so i thought i could purpose them as you know as cameras and i tried it eh, i'm not a fan so that's it hope everyone's have a great day we'll talk to you all later